totally unmuted, and that is what we are tonight. We're unleashed. Yes, you do. Unleashed. Oh. That's all we got to. Oh, that's all we got to break go it up to with. eleven. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, that's all. And everyone's ear. Now we know the audience is deaf. All right. Yeah. Well, come on. <coughs> what? A... Did you say what? something? <laughs> oh no, I'm on mute again. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to Thursday Night Cred Campaign. It's been it's been a long, lonely time since I saw it's all you folks. Been a while. It's been a while. Since I saw the tentacles rise up. <laughs> and that's all I've got tonight. Uh, we will see you in two weeks. Bye, everyone. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no, okay. you're not leaving us on this cliff any longer than you have to. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get this done rather quickly. I'm going to skip a lot of stuff. You can buy cool, awesome cred to keep you warm stuff. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. You can also hit us up, look at the Podbean podcast over there. Catch yourselves up on some delicious cred as well as calamity and whatever cacophonous uh, uh, other things are going on at Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done this in such a long time. Uh, let's importantly thank the sponsors. We got to thank the sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, for when you roll terribly and awfully. Well, oh pirate gosh. dog dice. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, D tens in here for when I kill you. Actually, this is what the cannon damage does. I just pour it on there oh, and I start counting. <laughs> Ow. Uh, and we will be certainly adding some wonderful pirate dog dice to that roll when it does eventually happen. Uh, and then thanks to our other sponsors. Uh, Adventure Sense, Oddfish Games, uh, for when your game stinks, make it stink worse with Future Sewers. You know, just really lay the players down low and just get them real down deep, make them feel like crap, or at least smell like it. That way they have awkward conversations with their spouses when they return home. Why does it smell like you crime through three miles of sewer? But didn't come out clean on the other side. Kyle, yes. can you verify that their putrid sewer smell is actually putrid smooth sewer smell now? I can't, well, honestly, I don't know. I lodged a couple of those beads up my nose, <laughs> which smelled worse when I last smelled. I can't tell the difference. It all smells the same. <laughs> I I never found out what it was like to smell a newborn baby. It just smelled like putrid sewers. That and the police came to arrest me from the, uh, the ward uh, when I broke into the hospital. And so that was Jesus another problem. Christ. Guys, they also have the Shine Project. They have the Acid Test. They have a bunch of other awesome projects. I suggest you check them out. Wonderful people, every single one of them. Uh, and like I said, they will be lodged in my brain forever now. Um, the surgery is just too expensive and it's either clean the poop water from the house or clean the poop smell from my nose. Um, if I get rid of my wife, though, I think I can get rid of the poop smell from my nose. Hey. More thoughts on that later. Uh, going around the table, let us introduce to the players, and then we will go ahead and get this game started. Starting with DJ. DJ, why don't you go ahead and introduce your character, you scary, scary man, you. Hello, I am DJ. I play Bran, the Way of the Mercy Monk, who's having a very difficult time and finding some inner self. Oh my goodness, that is Bran. Next, go to... Uh, do I have to actually remember your real names, or can I just call you by your fake names now? Well, let's go with you, Carol, Bearded see, Carol. Well, Who that's you. you. Wait, oh, Bearded Carol's you. you. Is it? <clears throat> yes. <coughs> but so, I are we going to the real Carol now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to me? No. Hi, everyone. As you said, my name is Carol. I'm not the bearded Carol. I'm just Carol. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter. As I have my own Twitch under Muses underscore Touch, where I paint minis and chat about whatever. Um, in this game, I play Anja Jaeger, my half elven ranger. 
Uh, slightly crazy. Yep. I also could be occasionally found on between the rolls and maybe doing a one shot around here. And uh, that's basically who I am. All right. Next and certainly least, Jacob. Wait. Yeah. That's not last. I was number two. He said next. Yeah, said come last. on, Carol. Carol, stop dragging this out. People want to see a game. Uh-huh. Some people want to get off that little cliffy I left them with. I left you guys with a real stiff cliffy last time. So, uh-huh. Jacob, go ahead and introduce yourself before I... I'm going to stop. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jacob. Um, I play Merrick Mistimetto, a halfling rogue, a cartographer, adventurer, and I think I'm the only one. I don't think I'm insane yet, but no, but I'm definitely in the minority here. Actually, no, it's half and half. Because Riley's not insane either. You presume Riley's not. Riley's I mean, not insane. Is. Not by stat block. <laughs> yeah, seriously, no, no, no. Riley, He's not afflicted by he's, anything. Yeah, let's say. Let's put this way. Riley has not failed afflicted. the rolls to actually get an insanity. There's so, nothing to cure his insanity. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a little different. Yeah, no, that's about it. Uh, well, finally, since we're going to introduce him, uh, Ernie, why don't you introduce your wonderful character? Uh, yeah. So. Uh... I'm playing Riley, the half elf warlock. Um, last I remember, Riley uh, had lots of fun and is still surrounded by his uh, cloak of flies. FYI, don't forget that. Never dispelled it. You're pretty fly. Pretty fly for a for a skinny, skinny lizard guy. guy? <laughs> I don't know. That's exactly what I was going for. Actually, yeah, I yeah. think it's, uh, we've just realized that the flags are hanging around because it's getting so scaly and lizardy. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So, to catch us up, because it's been a month since two of us last played, three of us, if you want to include Carol. I don't personally. Um, I, I, I still don't know why women are allowed to vote, but. Oh, fuck you! And <laughs> shut down. And we lost everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. Record we lost time, all everybody. three people, right? Seven minutes. <laughs> it has Jesus. been quite a while. So, uh, you guys crashed on this island of Farzine where you were delivering stuff uh, due to a treaty between the nation of Arulkatan, where you are all from, most of you, except for Merrick, um, who has been serving in the army while they're scouting the island. Uh, for the Farzanites, or those who live on the island of Farzine. Uh, strange things sue afterwards. I don't think that's an actual word. Uh, but you guys find out that ghouls are coming up from underground where Captain Lothar, or did I call him Lieutenant at the time? I may have changed it to Lieutenant just to make sure no one got mixed up with Captain Kenzo. So I get the notes. Who has the notes? I, I know, know Riley's got the notes. The notes. <laughs> you correct me on the uh, title. At the moment, I will call him Captain Lothar. Uh, Captain Lothar sent the four of you underground to find Brother Mateo and the Scaries, uh, two villagers uh, who had gone missing quite recently. Um Going down there, you find horrors unimaginable, uh, a bone room, then the bone throne room of the Yogash clan of ghouls who have been uh, living under the island under uh, another treaty with the islanders. It's all these islanders like to do. They make a treaty here and they make a treaty there, uh, a tree treaty every once in a while. Uh, and eventually you find yourselves in a newly built although this was built on the ruins of an older structure, in an older structure, I should say, as you were still underground, you found a temple to Fatnathoa, a great old one that used to reside in a volcano of an island known as Mu, uh, very similar to our Atlantis here in the world. Um, you guys go in there, explore, uh, find a few cultists, a lot of dried stacked bodies um much like jerky a few of them you had found even still alive uh and you ran across a monster of a golem it looked 
semi-human, but incredibly mutated. Uh, but it also hated ghouls as much as Bran did. Uh, so you allowed it to join your party for a while. Uh, you continued exploring until you came across a statue of Fat uh, And what you have found out is that anyone who looks at a near-perfect image of this elder being will become instantly mummified with their minds magically preserved in this body to live forever and ever until the body is completely destroyed. Seeking to do some good, since you weren't able to save the Scaries or Brother Mateo, uh, the priest in light, uh, you sought to at least destroy this sculpture um, in hopes of ruining the cult's plan Unfortunately, some gigantic tentacle thing sprouted out from the ground and proceeded to tear the living crap out of you guys and your newfound golem companion. X, Y, Z, I should examine my zipper. Not that you guys could see. I don't know why I said it out loud now that I think about it. Uh, Jesus. I know, right? You just spew, much like the sewer water kept spewing out of the house, words like diarrhea keep spewing out of my mouth <laughs> um you guys fled the scene uh luckily the creature did not chase after you but you were able to grab a few items a toy wooden horse uh some notes uh, a few uh special books and formulae um which riley i may not have those for you right away and i apologize that just suddenly came to my mind um <clears throat> but you managed to escape healed up where you found you had exited the island uh was going to be a fairly long trek back to the uh city of farzine uh you all opted to take the beach path because it was while longer, a little bit safer than trekking through the jungles. Um, you ran across a village uh, that Merrick had been to previously. Uh, and upon first inspection, it looked like a horde of deep ones had attacked the village while most of them ran inside uh, uh, trying to defend themselves. Uh, closer, closer investigations, however, showed that it was fairly superficial and that it actually looked like ghouls had raided this village. Um, gosh, yeah, no, I didn't like that part. That was a little dark. Uh, setting forth, though, you continued on the way, noticed that you were being watched from the ocean, uh, ran across what you thought would be an old friend in a wizard tower, uh, unfortunately, that wizard tower had collapsed. In that wizard tower, you had found a fairly complete map of the island with little X marks the spots in uh, about five locations, if I remember correctly, and written in a brown substance, the word lies, lies, lies all over it, as well as finding a magical cloak that who knows what it does because you haven't looked at it that thoroughly. Um, continuing on, you eventually came across a party of Deep Ones. Bran, by himself, while the party slept, spoke with them, found out that his mother might actually still be alive, that the Deep Ones might be willing to treat with him and allow him to come home with them provided they provided that he you know do his diligent duty to his family and to their true god mm -hmm. in uh, 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 either taking care of or protecting certain members of the party <coughs> yep ruminating this decision you all finally make it to the walls of Farzine uh, construction is almost complete with the wall that had previously crushed a villager uh, now having been almost complete. <coughs> you guys 
walk in through the front doors are recognized by the soldiers who immediately bear arms against you and tell you to wait while the sergeant comes to speak with you. Okay. You are at the ends of spears, swords, the new technology known as pistols, and muskets from several soldiers upon the walls. Well, we get a cannon, so I mean... Yeah, yeah, you guys just, got a cannon. Just, you have to watch problem. out, though, because it's been <coughs> stuffed with yam, so it may yeah. blow up on you. And preferably, I would like a cannon that I can carry with me. <laughs> <laughs> How about a hand <laughs> cannon? Yeah, a hand cannon. That sounds smart. I'll call it a pistol. How about a, hand for, uh, about a cannon for a hand? Uh. <laughs> All right. So the bringing How would you back. you reload it? That would be that be a task. You cast iron ball. <laughs> That'd be interesting. All and right. Eldridge blast. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> Eldridge blast shooter. Okay. okay. <laughs> and so as we begin our story, we see. In the distance, along the wall, uh, there are several wanted posters. Uh, you see one for Cleo, uh, oh, several for the, uh, uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to have just brain farts all night tonight. Bran was the only one that initially saw them. Do you point them out to the rest of us? No. Give me half a second. Guys. Is that No. No. You see members of the Hazel's Folly on wanted posters. However, uh, several of them have been crossed, marked off. Uh, you see First Mate Aiden Pasela. You see uh, Captain Lothar Wenza. Uh, no one corrected me, so I assume I must have left Ever- as Captain. No, no, yeah, he, Captain. he was fired. <laughs> Uh, well, it was captain. It former. was it was captain. I looked it up. It was yeah. I I also did write and no. Nope, yeah, we both messaged. We both put messages. Saying, How dare you do that to me while I'm not paying attention to any of this? The chat matters. That's where I tell you my secret plans. That is true. I. It's been a month. It's been a month and a half since I've had you, Ernie. So. Give me a second to remember what I have to do all the dang time. Fine. Okay. I'll let you know. I'll waggle my fingers when I oh, let gotcha. you know that I messaged all right, you. Perfect. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, but we see the posters. Uh, as I said, first mate, Pasela. Uh, you see wanted posters of Cleo. Bran, you're on there. <coughs> Merrick. Uh, Riley. And Anja, for various reasons, murder, treason. And as we stare at those posters, we kind of zoom in, going into cinematic mode here, folks. We zoom in, and as you zoom out, we see this large gathering uh, in front of the city hall of Farzine, where stepping out onto the balcony, we see... Magistrate Alwiggy, uh, Commander Corwell, and a figure who does not quite exit the building, but lays back in the shadows. <clears throat> Alwiggy steps up, prepared to address, pulls out his notes, because he's that kind of person. Greetings, all. I am loath to help the celebration of the union between our glorious island and the great nation of Arulkatan which have brought wealth and security to us all. But with a heavy heart, I must acknowledge the rumors. There are those who wish to destroy what we have built, sowing dissension between us. They have gone too far. They have murdered kind and devoted Brother Seeker, Servant of Fett, the wonderful Scaries, and more. Soldiers, bakers, our children. As you see, we have captured the evildoers and brought them to justice. He moves his hand, and the camera kind of pans out. You see this sea of faces, and they kind of turn to look 
and you see the gallows that had been built earlier hanging from them. You see three dwarfs, uh, three average humanoids, uh, two male dwarfs, one female, an elderly woman, all with bags over their faces. But they did not act alone. These renegades had help, and the betrayal has run deep, coming from those who've sworn to protect us, help us, and heal us. Friends, and the magistrate turns to look at Commander Corwell, and family. That betrayal has left a hole in our hearts. When we are at our lowest, however, is when we see who our true friends are, who our true allies are. And if not for these friends, we would be empty-handed right now. And so I would like to thank Porphos Yogash here and your clan. We owe you an incredible debt. And from the shadows, Porphos Yogash, the leader of the Yogash clan, who the party had met previous, steps out of the shadow. Oh, look at Brant. Old, frail. You guys oh, are we're not, not here. there. Oh, wait. This is a cinematic. Thought... This is not oh, happening. No, 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 sorry. Here. I thought this like, we're there. No. It's happening there. I thought we could see it. Never mind. Not quite. <laughs> sorry. And so. I thought we were close to that. Inasmuch as we, Good. the people of Fazin, have learned that, contrary to the perceptions oh. and opinions of outsiders, the ghouls of this island have faithfully, diligently, and effectively served the public trust since the signing of the pact generations ago. <sighs> Furthermore, the folk underneath have toiled in destitution without the benefits, privileges, and rights of the citizenry of Farzin. I, as magistrate of Farzin, decree that henceforth all ghouls will be recognized as citizens of the island and welcomed into service above as they had below for so many years. And the camera pans down as the three figures walk back into the city hall to the faces in the crowd, which suddenly become more and more populated with ghouls stepping out of alleyways and joining in the fray. Five days ago, screen turns black. And we return once again to the party, surrounded by guards. <clears throat> First thing I'd like to ask, mm -hmm. are there any ghouls present on the street that I can see? Oh, God. As you can see, there are no ghouls. Okay. Uh, when you entered the town, though, um, the guards <coughs> at the gate... Um, told you that um, you were to wait here mm -hmm. until uh, um, the captain had come to greet you. Okay. So someone in, a, in charge is coming. Yes. And you hear the sound of male footsteps and from around a corner you see four guards uh, human from Arukatan, uh, wearing the shining plate, the Arukatan symbol, along with a um, uh, uh, an osprey or a seagull, kind of in a circle in a wreath, the symbol of Farzine. Hey, Mister GM. Yes. I'm scanning around. Do I see any of those posters? Because I didn't have a high enough perception, your know, passive perception, perception to just see it. But I'm looking now. <coughs> I will say that if you guys are, um, you are being held there long enough that eventually you're going to notice the posters of all of you uh, kind of posted on the wall there. This is a guard outpost after all. 
I, 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 can I ask for a copy of the poster with me on it? I just want to scan it. <laughs> if Fine, a bring it. I kind of want to see what I'm being charged with here. I, I, I do Go ask. Go ahead. Uh, Thank you. You're going to have to make a persuasion check. These um, guys are all sweating. Can I can I give them advantage? I mean, I get a plus eight. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a nineteen, so nineteen on my first roll, so I get a twenty-seven <laughs> on that persuasion to get my oh, wanted poser yes. poster. Yeah. <laughs> can you even bring all? It, of it them takes over? a few seconds. The guards like, oh, what? Oh, I'm oh. also surrounded by cloak of flies. I probably look yeah. a little funky. <laughs> Writing, yeah. <laughs> And he pulls off a poster. He grabs one of Bran and here you go. I, I grab it. <laughs> right. And Did you grab one for me? I, I mean, I, I'm just <laughs> no, no, slapping no. them right against the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> there. You, you see the guard reference. next to him. Kenny, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Thanks, I- Kenny. Five. I can't. Can I, I said. I guess if he doesn't grab mine, I'm gonna try to read it. Let's see what I'm being charged with. I'd like him to finish the description of the guys approaching. Finish the description of the guys approaching. I'm doing this before they approach. <laughs> I did kind of jump ahead, so let's let's give them uh, a little bit of a chance. Um, you notice that Bran is uh, wanted for ten gold, uh, dead or alive. <laughs> Uh, sorry, it wasn't your poster. Um, treason uh, and murder. Anja, yours is also the same. However, you're only worth five gold. What the fuck? Five. Seriously? <clears throat> yeah, seriously. Um, yeah. At that point, like I said earlier, we jump ahead just a little bit. We see four human veterans in the Arukatan armor, a little wreath of the island of Farzine to show that they are part of the new military might of Farzine, the city, not the island. Well, both really. Um, Four ghouls, the rather large ones, also wearing Arukatan breastplates with the little Farzine symbol on there. You see Lieutenant Momoa, uh, the right hand, left hand of Captain Lothar. And you see a rather familiar face dressed in very fine, dressed in finery. My friends, Upton the ghoul says. Did you find what you were looking for? A pet, I believe it was, that went missing. Did you find the poor thing? Why should we talk to you? I suppose, but why not? Otherwise, it would be terribly boring. You're arresting us. Arrest us. I will not talk to your filthy kind. (sighs) I suppose that is uh, something we must overcome, us ghouls. As you devour the flesh of other people? People who have been long dead, my boy. Long dead. Really? Bullshit. However, there are two clans of ghouls here, at least. I don't think what we saw was the clan they have the treaty with. Well, I suppose that's up for Porphus, the magistrate, and your brother to talk to you about. And since Uh, you have no willingness to talk to me, then I suppose that it's time for you to out of game comment, as they say. Yes. Out of game comment uh, for Carol. Yeah. Uh, Carol, we actually never saw any other ghouls past the original clan. We saw whites and we Wait, saw I humans. Thought, I thought there were ghouls in the... Um... There was not. It was only whites and humans. Whites? You mean Remember gas. the things were like... Oh, yeah, yes. I apologize. Yes. Oh, gas and humans. Ghouls. We saw effigies of 
Oh, I thought they were in the part of the cult. All right, never mind. <laughs> we have no evidence of that. You, um, while you were underground, you entered the bone throne room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I remember that. Yogash, she had mentioned that new ghouls were coming to the island and offering uh, gifts out of respect to her and her clan. Yes. So you would surmise that there's new ghouls, and Upton, when you first met him, uh, had <laughs> let slip that he is not originally from this island, but mm-hmm. elsewhere. And he but was originally he didn't find any a half in the elf. Temple or anything. He was originally a half elf. Remember, we we totally. Well, I was trying to figure out how to become a ghoul, so got a lot of info about, out of him. No, no, it's all right. So actually, then yeah, maybe just humans and gas. They were taking all the humans from here. It may have nothing to do with the ghouls. Just the cult. Or perhaps all the ghouls were someplace else five days ago. It could have been. They weren't there. It took us five days to get here, correct? Around that time, yes. You are in town. Uh, it is eh, probably closer to evening time. There's still plenty of sun that it's not like, oh, well, it's going to be nighttime soon. But uh, uh, people would start if you were blue haired, you'd probably get dinner about now. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Ah, all right. Well, this has been sort of entertaining, but I have my duties now. Momoa, my precious, can you take these uh, gentle folk to the stockade? Wait a minute. We were supposed to. Wasn't the person in charge of this going to come here to talk to us first? That's who we're talking to, Anja. No, I mean, not Upton. That's who we're talking oh, to. Seriously, is he... No, your brother and... They didn't say his name. I think... Can you bring them here? I want you to resolve this before we end up in jail. They don't get a trial? Well, yes, of course you would get a trial and you will get a talking to, but we can't have you roaming free, committing more murders and performing more racist act to these food fine murders. citizens around us. Who did we supposedly with you? Well, well, who did we supposedly kill? In town. My dear. I have many we have more to clarify things it. to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have many more things to do, and I am honestly quite tired of your yammering. Uh, Momoa, my precious, take them. And you see Lieutenant Momoa pulls out some manacles, and one by one, she proceeds to manacle your hands. I allow it. Mm, I'm like perception so, checks all around, please. I am so concerned about Brand actually with this. So, Andre, thing. are you gonna freak out when they touch you? I may put them on myself. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, well, it depends. They can do it without touching me, actually. Uh, perception, you said. Everyone, perception. Uh, fifteen. Okay. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Five. Five or 25? 25. 25. Okay. Um, Anja, Bran, um, this is all incredibly shocking. And so when Momoa comes to put the manacles on you, you don't notice. Um, Already aware of kind of what's happening between the two of you or just being very self-aware, you notice that Momoa, as she slips the shackles onto your wrist, she doesn't quite shut them properly. And with that, she turns around, motions at the four large ghouls, and proceeds to walk you through town. Walking down the streets, you notice the town itself is nearly pristine. There's no litter on the ground. But there's also not a lot of people around. Um, As the ghouls kind of march 
the four of you forward, you can see children disappearing off the street, people rushing into alleyways to kind of avoid it. You go through a section of the bazaar and you actually run across um, a ghoul merchant who is busy selling slabs off of a dried corpse to other ghouls. Uh, when the townsfolk walk by, you can see them gleefully offering this meat to them as they kind of shuffle off in a bit of a hurry. Although there are some natives of your nation, Rul Katan, who do pause politely before nodding their heads and walking away and continuing their shopping. Walk through the streets, take a left here, turn, you take a right there. And in front of you, you see this ghoul also with a carriage of dried, desiccated bodies. And from seemingly out of nowhere, uh, a half-elf um, comes barging through the intersection and the two carts smash. Uh, the sight of cabbages and bodies uh, spilling out. Cabbages? My cabbages! Uh, I was fully expecting that to be my bodies. Thank you. <laughs> well, you need, we need both. You need both. You need both. And you see the ghouls who have been leading this carriage on step down and the guy with the cabbages is just like, oh, uh, we, we can make a just turn and bolt and run away. Oh, the shit. two ghouls from the carriages bound over on all fours begin chasing after him. What the? <sighs> Do they look like they're intending harm? No, they're chasing after them for the moment. Uh, um, yeah, no, Momoa I have to. immediately says, don't worry about it. Let's go through this alley over here. Are now, you... Would you like to act upon this moment? Yes, I will go with Momoa. Okay. I, no, I can't. Okay. I will, I'm going to run at top speed. I will use a gut key point to dash, and I'm going to intercept the ghouls and stand in their way with my manacles on. Okay. Thank you for being the decoy, Bran. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I it doesn't say work if you say that point. out loud. Oh, sorry. I used my, <laughs> yeah, my mind power. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Then Sandy's kicking in. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> he, talks, he just looks over his shoulder thin air just says it. <laughs> yeah. I'm debating. Do I want to go? Do I want to stay? Roll for initiative. As you hear Momo say shit and literally draw one of her short swords and shove it into the back of one of the ghouls. Oh, uh, shit. You. Do I notice by this point that my manacle seems loose, even though I didn't notice her? Because she was touching me. So I was freaking out why I didn't notice. Do I notice it's loose? You can make another check if you like. <coughs> that was better. Uh, that would be 19. 19. Uh, yes, at that point you would notice that your shackles are loose. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start with Bran. What did you roll? I rolled a 6. Rolled a oh! I'm assuming I'm going on a like, surprise racks <laughs> and activating this. <laughs> Just <Yes>. to move. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. Uh, Anja. Dirty 20. Very nice. Merrick? <clears throat> Am I still at a penalty for... Uh, uh, the, no. Over the exactly. course of the days, um, your uh, dexterity is back to full. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, I'm all healed and everything too. So, uh, question: Were we healed? I think uh, so. We, we didn't get into combat, right? You didn't yeah. get into combat, really. No. Yeah, for some reason, I have hit point damage. So I'm resetting. Oh, that. Yeah, maybe it just didn't get reset. Possible. <clears throat> uh, so, Merrick, what was your initiative? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. All right, Riley. Six. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> I know Brand's faster than you. Poor Riley. All right. That is about what I would expect from those two. Okay. So immediately we have Momoa shove uh, a sword into the back. <coughs> That's a natural 20. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> It was a little bit of a surprise, it turns out. Okay. Let's see. Go NPCs. Has... I hope she's got sneak attack. <laughs> she does no. not. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh. Why I was going to say, doesn't her, uh, uh, she's a, if she's a fighter or whatnot, doesn't her, uh, what is it, maneuver die or whatnot, devil? There we go. <laughs> All right. <coughs> and second attack that's a 19 all right so the ghoul she stabbed in the back does not look happy she turns to the rest of you don't let any of them escape and at that we begin you got it <laughs> with Anja all right, so um, I'm gonna hope Rand's got it. It's got got things in hand over there. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna take a couple of attacks. Let's see what I got here. I'm gonna there use are them. four of them around you. There's the one that Momoa stabbed in the back. Are you just going after the immediate nearest one to you? Uh, yep. God, it's been a while since we played, huh? Since we it fought has anything. been a little bit, yeah. <clears throat> what is it? I get so I've got two weapon fighting, mm -hmm. and I believe. Let's see, I get two attacks per action. So I believe that. So it's actually three attacks because the second attack is a bonus action. So, um, yeah, if we'll do this. Uh, let's see. First attack with the mirror blade is a nineteen. A uh, nineteen will hit. It won't be. It'll be a different one that she's than she's attacking. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need bonus action because I haven't played him well. It's mm -hmm. gonna be to put on Slayer's Prey. Okay. That's right. So, so the first one will hit. Uh, what is, let's see. What does it do for damage? One d six plus four. Two d six plus four. Need a murder hobo die here. Um, so the first attack will be 11 points of damage. And the blood just spills all over you. All right, second attack with the mirror blade. Oh, that was friggin' shit. That was only an 11. <laughs> and then bonus attack with the scimitar. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, 21. That'll hit. All right, so six. So you did not use Slayer Spray, or you did? I, I did. oh never mind, You're right? Forget that. I used Slayer Spray, and that's that's all right. That's still pretty good for one sack. All right, all right, all right. Uh, go on. That's my turn. I'm not okay. gonna move. All right. At that point, the one that got stabbed Oof. in the back, and the one that you <coughs> just attacked, uh, Anja. Yep. They start swinging at you. Uh, Both of them. Uh, at you and Momoa. So starting off with Momoa. Uh, oh, yeah, that's um, fair. It tries to claw Momoa. That is a natural 20. Oh, no. Another hit. So I'm just going to kill these people outright. It's fine. You know, they were just trying to. Do not them. mow. Do not kill Momoa. <laughs> it's too late. You guys didn't actually like her. Uh, that's 2d6. That, so that is. Uh... Holy crap. Man, I might just kill her outright, to be honest with you guys. No, we need her. 66. Why do we need her? <laughs> she knows more about what's going on. 
Yeah, she's like an clearly an ally of ours. Yeah. And not doesn't want us hung. I guess that's one reason to like her, I guess. I think it's a reason to make sure she doesn't die. Oh, and she takes a licking. And Ooh. as for you, Anja, that is going to be a a 10 to hit and a 19 to hit. 10 misses, 19 hits. Oh, good. <coughs> And that is going to be 11 uh, damage as a clause against you. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. You know what? What? We'll do that later. All right. The ghouls in the cart that were chasing after the cabbage man uh, come running up to you, Bran, and proceed to just uh, attempt to knock you over. So go <laughs> ahead and give me an acrobatics or an athletics check for me, please. Go, Brian. Go 22. Yes. 22. Are you dodging or dodging. are you... Okay. I do not uh, want their filthy hands touching me. They literally go to try and charge into you. You step out of the way. Uh, uh, one of them trips and lands on their face. That was a one and a seven on the day. <laughs> Okay, uh, and that's pretty much their turn since you outran them. Merrick, you are up. What would you like uh, to do? What's my medical situation? Uh, they're loose, and you can just pop them off and draw weapons. Okay, then I will start with doing that. And am I close enough to get um, within a, to well occupy the same space as Momo or Anja? Yeah, you can move up to uh, take care of one of those two ghouls. Yep, I'm going to do that. Okay. And I guess I'll attack the one that hit Momoa with a sneak attack. Okay. That's hard. 21 to hit. 21 hits. For 14 damage. All right. And I'll swing with my other sword. Uh, 10 to hit. 10 misses. Okay. All That's right. Turn. Okay. That leads us down to the ghouls behind you guys. Mm -hmm. Uh. You still have your cloak of flies up, Riley? Uh, yeah. They they don't go away until I go unconscious or dispel them. I think. Okay. The two ghouls are gonna avoid you and your flies, and they're gonna go after Anja. Of course they are. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Three on one. That meets beats. Oh. <laughs> well. You're, you're in some luck. They're not going to kill you too bad. Uh -huh. uh, that is another 11 points of damage as it claws at you. That's not great. Okay, that's not great. I'm still okay. The other one entirely ah. misses. Uh, okay. And that leads us down to uh, Bran. You've managed to get in the way of the two ghouls chasing after uh, uh, the cabbage carriage. Uh, I'll say you move fast enough that you got ahead of them. You're looking behind you and you see the fight going on uh, between Momoa and these four ghouls who you are escorting. And none of your companions seem to be wearing their manacles anymore, except for maybe uh, uh, Riley. Uh, quick question. Was yes. I able to get in front of them without using uh, the... Uh, was, I, was I able to get there? on one move or did I have to use a dash as a bonus or anything? Um your movement is now like 40. 40. Yeah, you um movement dash got you in front of them. Okay, so I didn't have to use a cat point. Good. No. All right, I will and I'm strike the one that did not fall first. Okay. Ugh. That's gonna be a nine, so then I will attempt to strike him again. 
That should hit with a 21. That'll hit. I will... <clears throat> damage. Seven did damage. Brand... Sorry. Did... Is this the next round, or is this just your first This action? is my first actual turn. Oh, okay. Yep. I just want to make sure I wasn't skipped, sir. Nope, no, no, you're, no, right no, you're coming... Right yeah, yeah, that's right. You're, that's right. You're, I will yeah, then you're... do a uh, stunning strike on him, so he has to make a. Where is it? Where is it? Stunning strike. Uh, DC sixteen Constitution saving throw. Sixteen on the die. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so I will use a Kai point for flurry of blows. Okay. And. I will attempt to strike him again. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's weird. 14. Does that hit? 14 hits. Or uh, 9 damage. All and right. uh, another stunning strike on him. I will another... say you are beating the tar out of this ghoul. Um, I just don't want to play. Okay. That is an 18 on the die. Ooh. All right. Uh, then I will also... <laughs> yeah, no, I'll just keep beating on him since the other one's down on the ground next to me. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, last flurry of blows on. Come on. And that's going to be a 23 for... That'll hit. Another nine. Dead. I wish to snap his neck so it's turning the opposite direction. And I'm doing this and with my feet, mind you. I'm just doing this with my feet. <laughs> you do that, and if the other ghoul wasn't flat on his face currently, I'm sure he would be fucking terrified right now. Yeah, I still have the manacles on. Mm -hmm. Uh... That is all my actions. I really wish I had one more to just jump on him and start choking him with the manacles, <laughs> but I don't. All right. Uh, Riley, you are up. Cool. So I see that there's three ghouls on Anja, right? Yep. You see the three ghouls on Anja. One's injured, two are fresh. Yes. Um, I'm going to, on one of the fresh ones, try and cast Crown of Madness. I haven't gotten to use that one yet. All right. One of it's them a looks a little beefier than the other. The other one is a little bit more longer lived. I want Preference. the beefy one. DC 16 wisdom. Come All on. Right. Fail. Fail. Ooh, <coughs> plus one to this. That was a four on the die. Yeah. Yes. Crown of madness. And uh, let's see. On a humanoid of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on wisdom safe mm -hmm. or become charmed for the duration, which is one minute. Uh, while the target is charmed, it has a jagged iron crown on its head and madness in its eyes. The charm target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against creature other than itself that I mentally choose. The target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature or if none are within its reach. On okay. your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control or the spell ends. Also, the target can make a wisdom save at the end of each of its turns. Okay. So... I'm going to have it try and attack the lanky one next to it. Why not? The lanky <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, no. Sorry. The injured one. The injured one. I injured want it one? to do melee on the injured one. Yes. Okay. That is bite or... <coughs> I don't know. It's just one melee attack. I don't... I maybe... Oh, okay. I'll do the one that seems stronger. Whatever right. that is. That claw seem killer. I don't know. Oh, 2d6 geez. or something. 2d6 on the claw. So that is immediately you cast this spell on it and from out of its head very similar to the gas this crown of bone just kind of uproots from its head and this ghoul just gets this incredibly primal look about it. I feel and like it should be a jelly crown. A, jelly oh, a little crown. bit too, yeah. Why? What? Because of your god. No, my my it's like a little like kind of spory, mucusy, floaty green thingy. <laughs> All right, so kinda, it's jello kinda merged with, with, with uh, stone tablets. <laughs> jello oh jello with marshmallows? 
Yeah. And it rakes these claws, uh, um, gosh, doing 14 damage to Anja's uh, beefy uh, ghoul. And in the wakes of that, you just kind of see these mold starts to grow where the claws scream oh, at it. Shit. And uh, anything else you'd like to do? Um, as a bonus action, can I just remove my shackles? Yeah, easily. Cool. Just shake them off. Yeah, and uh, and I guess um, as, instead of a movement, can I just take a quick glance around to make sure there's no other enemies going to surprise me? <laughs> sure. Um. Quick glance around, you see the cabbage farmer running back uh, uh, behind Bran, uh, which will just lead into this. What you see is what's happening here. Um, Bran, you hear some footsteps behind you. You turn around. The cabbage farmer uh, with a lot of tattoos and a very (coughs) familiar face as uh, first mate Pasela proceeds to take a short sword and stab it twice down onto the ghoul on the ground. That is a natural 20. Yes! And another hit. He does not as bad ass as uh, Momoa, though, but he'll do. Holy shit. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It's pretty good, huh? Uh, uh, Yeah. Two sixes on 3d6s. Nice! Fourteen. Yeah, and almost one blow proceeds to um, just end this ghoul on the ground. Think I can't take care of myself, do you? And he proceeds to run back to the ghouls. Uh, You turn your head, Riley, and from the alleyway that you were supposedly going to go down, you see uh, two eldritch blasts from Captain Kenza stepping out of the shadows. That is... Oh, is she going to hit? Oh my goodness. Oh yes, that will actually hit. 16 on the spot. Okay. Yeah, and she hits the uh, lanky one there for a bit of damage. So much for following the plan. And with that, we are back at the top of the order. Uh, Momoa uh, continues striking at the ghoul she and Merrick were attacking. Oh my gosh, why did I decide to add so many NPCs to this fight? That was a terrible mistake. Why, oh why, did I do that? Uh, Anja, you are up as they miss. Uh, Okay, so I'll do this one at a time. Uh, With the mirror blade. Jesus Christ, what a fucking terrible roll. Did you use Merrick's roll? Oh wait, no, but it's like, isn't it first in a round? First in a round. So yeah, I'm first in a round. Use hers. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, well, the second one should hit. That's a uh, 18. 18 will hit. Jesus Christ. Well, that's good. 10, 14 points on that attack, and then the bonus action <clears throat> with the scimitar. Uh-huh. Jesus, my uh, 14. 14 to hit, misses. Fuck me. You scrape off this beautiful armor that you have just come to know so well. <coughs> like another act of betrayal. I assume that thing is still alive, though, huh? Oh, it is still alive, Damn and uh, we will start with uh, t- were you helping out Anja Merrick, or were you helping out Lieutenant Momoa? Uh, Momoa. You were helping out Manoa. So, one claw at you, one claw at her. So that is 16, 22 to hit you, Merrick, and 19 to hit Momoa. The hits. hits. Okay. Gosh, and they both hit. 
Oh, good. That is 11 damage to you, Merrick. Okay. That is... And when I use my reaction to uncanny dodge, I get to oh. have have the damage. All right. Very nice. Um, and seeing as you dodge out of the way, he makes a final bite attack and completely whiffs it. Um, that leads to the other ghoul attacking you, Anja. It <laughs> throws a claw your way and a claw at the ghoul oh, that wow. has been attacking it. Uh, 15 to hit you. Miss. And we hit the other ghoul for nine points of damage. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> 69. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and 69 hit points <laughs> left. Yep. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> yeah, I nice. Suggest you guys really nah. start ganging up and. Uh... <laughs> well, oh luckily God. he's my uh, bewitched one for now, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. For now. Hopefully. All right. <laughs> My dice didn't fucking suck like they have been lately. All right. Merrick, you are up. All right. Still standing then? I'm going to. Still standing. All right. I'm going to sneak attack. Momoa's still here, right? Yep. All right. Cool. I'm going to, yeah, sneak attack. Back. 12 to hit. 12 misses. All right. He's going to Carol's rolls. Oh my god. Oh wait, you could yeah, but but I think there was a roll that hit. Mm-hmm. Was it with the sword? Do you remember what it was? It was with the sword and it was like a, t- a plus twenty eight. something. Fourteen. The second one hits with an eighteen for fourteen damage. With an eighteen, so it was eleven. It was okay. a plus eleven on the die. Does it work? Wait, when you do that, do you include my the bonus? Too, I, or I just, just tell the you what you say. You no, got no, no. To hit. That's the, I'm asking the DM to completely it's simplify things. It is the exact. Uh, okay, so hit. including my modifier, including so it would have been at eighteen and would have hit. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. Will use hit. that. All right, I can. I'll use that then. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's such a thing as crit fishing, but maybe kidding might be just better. Uh, 16. 16 damage. Nice. Nice. I want you all to die. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just saw a thing that, you know, the reason why CR doesn't work is because most DMs aren't trying to actually kill their PCs. So in order to make this work, I'm going to actually have to kill you now. Uh, so the two ghouls, um, one of them is controlled by a crown of madness. God. I do believe you get uh, to pick a creature for me to hit. Uh, or am I misreading the spell? <laughs> yeah, every turn I, uh, I use my action to make it attack a thing oh, or the spell ends. Your action. The, what does it do on its action? Uh, let me actually read the description because mm. I would prefer it does the wisdom save after my action, okay. but I don't think it works that way. On your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control over the target or the spell ends. Also, the target can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of its turns. Mm-hmm. On if a I, success, the spell ends. When I, when I heard it, it was generally on this <laughs> turn it makes the attack. You designate who it attacks, but so your action basically just keeps it going. After That's it makes the attack, after right. the action, then it makes this will save. Yeah, probably. So go ahead and uh, pick a target. That's who yeah. he'll attack. I want it to attack the injured one on Anja still. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nat 20? <laughs> Woo! Nat 20. Yes! Riley's got all the 20s. Jeez, I, I don't. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I should say uh, uh, Kyle I has have all the twenties. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not right. It's you're, you're, fighting you're me right. in the yeah. ass. I don't like. I don't even roll. need to roll this game. <laughs> <laughs> Go, my minions. Jesus. All right. Awesome. <laughs> and yeah, you know, the claws just seem to get longer. It breaks it through. This this ghoul is just de-evolutionizing in front of you. And again, deep claw marks. 
more of these spores and tendrils start to grow out of the wounds of the uh, uh, ghoul that Anja is currently fighting. The other one, seeing what's going on, makes its two attacks. Uh-oh. How far away am I, by the way? You aren't too far. You scared off these two uh, uh, these two weaker ghouls uh, oh. with your uh, cloak of flies. So they opted to go after Anja instead. So, but two... I'm still out of out of range, right? Like they're they're not gonna they're not coming after me. They're not coming after you yet, Anja. <laughs> okay, how you cool. doing, buddy? Um, I'm okay right now for the time being. <laughs> All right. So yeah, before my my turn is over, though. Yes. Um. Oh, is there I'm... like a a rooftop or some place that's slightly out of the way within uh what what's Misty Step thirty feet away? Uh, you are in the middle of town. Um, two to like a three story buildings. Yeah. Yeah, you could try and make your way to something. All like right, that. just just from a safer range, I'm just gonna use my bonus action to to Ooh. misty step to uh, a safe place so those ghouls don't get any ideas. <laughs> you teleport onto a balcony. You hear gas, and the doors behind you shut, and you can just see two children's faces kind of staring out. Oh no! With these oh, pains oh, as they no. you. <laughs> Wild attacks make it through. <laughs> we'll find oh, out. No. I mean, not. Uh, eh, not my problem, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so that was um, sixteen points of damage to you, Anja. Oh wait, really? Yeah, sixteen. Natural twenty. Oh, you rolled a natural twenty. Yeah, that's what he put it up there. Twenty. You didn't pay attention. Well, I'm listening to the whole thing with. The, I thought it was still an early start. All He's right, all I, that that's not play. good. That's not good. Okay. Oh, Riley, it's not your turn to do that yet, unless you wanted to. No wonder I'm like freaking done confused. that last oh, time. Oh, you jumped okay. Ahead I, with I the just ghouls. yeah, you <sighs> gave me the action to use them to attack. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So I, I just thought then I would also have my bonus action, but. Yeah, I didn't realize we were doing it out of order. Yeah, no one. All right, that's why I'm confused. All right, so you did a nat, fucking nat twenty. Be ow. <laughs> oh, this is all a right. problem. Uh, Bran, you are up. You are about eighty feet away from uh, what's going on down uh, the ways, and uh, first mate Pasela is running towards the action. Um, within eighty feet, can I reach any of them? Yes, you can uh, go after the two beefy boys. Okay. A move action, spend a Kai point to run further, so I'm 80 feet. Mm-hmm. And then I will go after... Which one can I reach? You can reach either the one after Momoa and Merrick, or the one going after Anja. Uh, I will go, to... go after any of the three after. Anja. Okay, I'll go after the one that's attacking Anja. Okay. I will attack it. Okay. Anja's going on. That's going to be a seventeen to hit. That'll hit. Or six damage. Okay. Second attack will be an eighteen to hit. God, for the love of God, please take it down. For seven damage. All right. I will use my last Kai point I currently have for. Can you do blows. that since you dashed? Yes, I can. You can. You can technically spend as many Kai points as you're able to, unless the action itself for using the Kai point specifies. See, I would thought that. Oh, uh, <laughs> you actually know you're right. Dash is bonus a bonus. Action. Nope, you're right. You are right. Damn it. So Anja, I cannot do that. Dead yet. No. Fuck. Okay. All right. Uh, Riley, you are up. Uh, you concentrate to keep the ghoul on the spell. Um, yeah, wisdom DC 16. DC 15. Woohoo! I'm going to roll the other die now next time. Okay. Um, and bonus action up to the balcony. Yeah. 
Uh, obviously, I make sure that the balcony is unoccupied when I go up there, if possibly possible. <laughs> um, not like ghouls up there, right? I'm not going to teleport where there are enemies. Sure. <laughs> no. You don't see anyone from the balcony except you pop up there, gas, children's voices, they close the doors on you, and you're kind of alone on the balcony. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, Pasela spends his entire time running because he's not he is not that fast. And Captain Kenza let's see Shatter is a bad idea right now. Yeah. Okay. She will in attempt to make this situation a little bit better <coughs> start casting a spell and I need everyone yes everyone except for the guy who teleported out of there to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw please. are you serious? It's gonna make things. Nope, fail. Fourteen. You pass. Maybe twenty. Twenty. Nice. Okay. I have got four <laughs> stupid ghouls right here. What does it do? You are under a hypnotic pattern. So I can't even friggin' heal myself. And the two big ghouls get caught up in the lights. The what about the one under my crowd of madness? Crown is of... perfectly fine. Yes, I'm still gonna have it wail on him. <laughs> <laughs> and as is the other uh, uh, leaner ghoul. So one of the ghouls on me. This is a bad plan. All right, and that <laughs> she's okay, just doing the me... best she can. I mean, I can't even now heal myself. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna do. And what looks like the rolling ocean appears above you. We are back at Momoa, and she is not taking any of this. And she goes after the... She's fairly smart, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Okay. She goes after uh, one of the ghouls attacking you, Anja while her own ghoul is distracted by the lights. Two short swords, that is a natural 20. 2d8, okay. Six, eight, 12, okay. And she does the damage there, okay. And so she is attacking the leaner ghoul on you, Anja, uh, while the other one is distracted. Uh, I do believe, do you get another save on your turn? That seems like it would be the case. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you get to stand there and stare at the pretty lights until you take damage or someone shakes you out of it. Which brings us to the two ghouls who are just standing there. Uh, Merrick, you are up. Okay, I'm just going to keep attacking this one until it goes down. Okay. Putting a nine doesn't hit. Uh, give yourself advantage. It is just staring off into these pretty lights. I'm going to 21 then. 21 will hit. For 15. 15 damage. All right. You strike it and it shakes itself out of being charmed. Uh, you still have another uh, attack, though. Yes. Yep. My offhand. Not at advantage this time. No. Only 12. Only 12. That is a miss, unfortunately. Uh, the two ghouls. Um, Riley, do you want it to go after the dazed one or after the scrawny one? The scrawny one. 
Okay. I think I'm I'm smart enough to know the effects of them taking damage. Yeah. <laughs> nat oh. 20? Are you rolling not, nat 20s for me? Not a nat 20. <laughs> uh, but I rolled two sixes on a d6. Oh, jeez. So 16. He, they are eating shit. Let me just tell you. They just have a big bag of hit points. Okay. Uh, and then the other one uh, just swings out and attacks one claw at uh, its friend that just tried to chew him up and another one at Anja. Sitting duck. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that an 18 yep. and a 23 will hit, both of you respectively. So that is going to be 10 damage to him. And Anja, you are going to take 13 damage. Oh my God. And it is going to attempt to bite you, Anja, as a bonus oh, I'm action. Fucked. That is going to be a natural, not a natural 20, dirty 20. I'm down. Okay, hold on. No, no, no I get two hit points. I'm down. Oh, okay. I, and I don't think you can't, you can't do enough to kill me. I'm down. That's what you think. Let me roll this next. No, no, no. You have, to, you have to roll <laughs> you have to roll like 55 points of damage. I don't think you could go through do that. I've got Challenge a accepted. Roll. I got this. Yeah. That's in one turn, right? That's doesn't have to be with no, one attack. No, no, it's in one attack. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Any subsequent, sure. attack, any subsequent attacks are two failed death saves. Oh. All right. So Anja yeah. goes down. They're crits. And that uh, is Bran, you are up. Okay. I'm going to attack the one that is badly injured. Okay. The one who is the worst injured uh, is the one who is currently dazed. Um, Otherwise, the next one is the one who just took uh, Anja down. Yeah, I will attack the one that took Anja down. So that's a 24 to hit. For six points, next attack, uh, 13 will miss. 13 will miss. Uh, spend my Kai point. <coughs> I will then attack him again with a flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, that's another 24. Yep. Four, five. Okay. And then my last... Flurry of blows, I will uh, touch Anja and heal her. Oh, how much do I heal? Hit die plus modifier is usually what it ends up being, I think, right? Uh, this is a little different. Ah. Uh, so I heal her for... Two? Is that uh, it? Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Healing hand, one DC. I hope it's more than. Two. Uh, it's gonna be uh, no, it's gonna be um, seven. Okay. Nice. Seven's better than nothing. Okay. Is that it? Uh, that <laughs> is my turn. All right, Riley, you are up. Um, well, I don't think I can do an Eldritch Blast under concentration, right? It's not a concentration. If you use your action, action yeah, yours is a little different oh. of a spell. Right. Uh, and he rolled a five to break Yeah, I have to use my madness. action for that for that attack. So, and he already did the attack. So, you yeah, ha- I if you have, have a bonus, bonus action spell, do it. <laughs> I have a bonus or a movement. Um, cool. Well, then I guess I'll look around my balcony a little bit. What's up here? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> You see a few little chalk drawings. Uh, uh, there's like little volcanoes and everything. Looks like smoke is coming out of it, and they're fairly fresh. Uh, uh, and then, of course, you see monsters that are Wait, just there's, kind of eating it's people. Fresh volcanoes with smoke coming out of it. Drawings. If I yes. look up at the volcano, is there actually smoke coming out of the volcano? Oh no! <laughs> Why yes, yes. There Make is. a sanity check. <laughs> There's smoke coming out of the volcano. Cool. There's well, some smoke coming out of the volcano. All right. Like the real, wait, the real one? The yes. real one, yes. You suspect, 
I think we kind of knew it was sort of waking up because you know, with like the earthquakes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. I mean, I just, you know, it brought me back to my senses when I saw the chalk drawings. I'm like, oh shit. Um <laughs> cool. Well, then that's nice to know. Um All right. I guess with my bonus action, I'll pocket some of that chalk. I I don't have steal <laughs> from kids. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm doing this a service, getting rid of these ghouls. Yeah, absolutely. All Actually, right. I don't even think about that. I just ooh, chalk. What is this? Pocket. <laughs> Rubs it up against his tablet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Pesela runs up uh, and proceeds to stab uh, the ghoul who took you down, Anja. Uh, and that guy is almost dead. Uh, Captain Kenza, seeing this, uh, proceeds to do. Oh, let me double check here. Okay, no. Uh, proceeds to do two Eldritch Blasts. That is a natural 20 and a an 18 to hit. <coughs> that is... You know, you shouldn't have a giant bucket to pull dice from. It really needs to be separated because this turns into a pain in the butt. 14 plus 9 is 23. And she obliterates yeah she just obliterates the scrawny ghoul and that is down we are back up to Momoa she is going to attack your crown ghoul oh because Momoa is an idiot got it (laughs) well what have we got left you have a dazed ghoul uh, the one that um, Merrick more... is fighting is no longer dazed, uh, and the crown of madness is. Well, why not attack? She may not know. She may not know what magic that is, or what it's doing. Yeah, totally fine. I tell you what, she will go ahead and say screw you guys and run away oh okay i'm just kidding anyway i mean either Jeez, way that doesn't i seem to be do right. not I'm gonna care save you and then screw you guys <laughs> all right next time i'm gonna use a bonus action and chuck some chalk at her <laughs> she not swings a... back to help out merrick uh and the ghoul that she had been originally attacking uh so that takes us to anja anja you are awake on the ground uh, this okay, horrifying that... looking ghoul standing over you. Uh, another one just staring up into the clouds. Uh, uh, and then you see... That Mabel was perfect timing and for Merrick. that to flap it down. It always does that. <laughs> you see nothing but orange! <coughs> Wait, what? what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to heal myself. That's what I'm going to do. Casting a good berries second... in your mouth? No, I'm casting a cycle of a cure wounds. Okay, oh, that's two. Okay, that looks a lot better. So I do 13 points back. And then I'm going to use a move action to stand and bonus action to put, I guess I probably have to put Slayer's Prey back on something. Um, the Slayer's Prey, I believe, is still on. Well, I was. I, ghoul. I went unconscious. Oh, you went down. That's right. So I assume. Ignore me. Just all right, so, play the game, guys. So what I, do we get? Just... What do we get that isn't date? Well, so we got one that isn't dazed and it's still up, right? Yes. And active. All right, I'm going to mm-hmm. put it on that one. Okay. Get ready for next time. All right, that leads us to uh, dazed ghoul, and I'm going to kill Merrick ghoul, uh, and I it starts go. frothing <coughs> at the mouth trying to strike at you guys. 14 to hit you, Merrick. Yeah. Nope. And attacking again. That is an 18 to hit you, Merrick. That's... All right. And that is going to be uh, 10 damage as it just wildly claws at you. Okay. I'm going to try to dodge the two. All right. Take five damage. Yep. Instead... That takes us uh, to your turn, 
Uh, this ghoul is wildly swinging at you, and as long as you're paying attention, you have advantage to hit it on both attacks as oh. it went reckless. Okay. Oh, it's a barbarian. Swing. Wow. Ten. 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 That God. misses. <laughs> With advantage, yes? With advantage. Wow. Oh, ten. Got, yeah. got a t- ten and an eight. Yeah. You see, I've built a device that allows me <laughs> to take all the luck from my players and put it into my dice here. I think it did. I really <laughs> think it did. And the solution is to make Kyle roll the dice for your attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. All, all right, right. Well, I'll try my offhand then. Mm-hmm. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. Okay. Or 16. 16. And you cut down this ghoul. Okay. Well, that leads us to of course. the crown of madness ghoul. Uh, stand there, look pretty, or attack the day's ghoul. Uh, well, there's only one enemy within range, right? The day's ghoul. Yep, it attacks. Press the bubble. Or otherwise, I lose control of it. <laughs> <laughs> or it attacks Anja, right? Because Anja's right there. <laughs> it's also it let's loose a shriek as blood and drool drip out of its mouth. And hits the day's ghoul. All right. I do not like tonight. All right. And nearly slicing through its collarbone, you see the other ghoul's head start to flop a little bit. Oh. And again, more fungus, more tendrils grow from its wound. Uh, and that is its turn. Let me see if it escapes. DC 16? <sighs> 12. All right. And that brings us up to Bran. Got this ghoul who's becoming more and more monstrous, and you have a ghoul on breathing its last breaths. All right. Um... I will attack the one that's breathing its last breath. Let's see if I can finish it off. Okay. 19 on the die for 25. Hit. For 5 damage. Oh, so close. And then the second attack, uh, 13 will miss. It will. And that is my turn because I have no more kite points. Okay. Now, normally, don't you get just a free bonus action attack as well? You know, you're right. I do. Yeah, uh, I, I, I forgot. I'll let you kill a ghoul, you know, just once though. Come on, Bran. Oh, that's worse as a roll. That's only a three plus six. That's nine. <laughs> All right, uh, Riley, what you doing up there on that rooftop balcony? Well, um, I guess I'm just gonna look around. Still, what's going on in the in the neighborhood right now? <laughs> you see the neighborhood people are beginning to kind of poke their heads out the windows and kind of take a look, but no one's actually raising an alarm. They're just watching. All right. Any other ghouls approaching? Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Okay. All righty. Uh, so that's a 17 perception. Okay. You do not see any ghouls uh, headed your way. You do in the distance, you can kind of see a a pack of ghouls uh, uh, kind of march across the end of the street, but they don't seem to take a look down the alley or down this particular street. Uh, Which leads us to Sela. Attacks. He attacks the crown of madness ghoul. Uh, and Kenza attacks the 
Almost dead ghoul. That is a hit on one of them. With an Eldritch Blast. Doing five damage. Which is literally all the creature had left. And that ghoul is dead. All that's left is this crown of madness ghoul. Uh, and that takes us up to Momoa. Takes swings at it. One will hit. And that is going to be seven damage. Okay. And Anja, you are up. All right. Well, I'll put, I'll put it on there. Was it Hunter's Prey or oh, okay. Slayer's Prey? Mm -hmm. Make two attacks with the Mirror Blade. Uh, well, that's 17 and a yeah, 13 misses. 17 and a 13 misses. 17 hits. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, okay. Well, that was better than I thought it was going to be. 11 points. 11 points? Yep. Okay. And... Okay. Yeah, it is looking bad. Uh, Merrick, you are up. Okay. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm assuming that the school's within walking distance too, right? Yep. Okay. I'm going to head over there and I'm going to use my mirror blade to mirrors on just 17. Mm -hmm. The same attack, but just a few feet lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or 22 damage. How do you kill this monstrous thing? Yeah. Teamwork. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah. I'm going to stab it up. Stab it up to the draw. <laughs> to the draw. <laughs> uh, and as you do, this vile ooze sinks down and pours out of it, but then it raises up from where the body was. Uh, you have killed all the ghouls. And at that point, Momoa turns to Merrick. Give me your short sword. Which one? Either one. Just give it to me. Okay, I'm going to give him my non-magic one. She takes it and immediately takes it across her arm and creates this huge gash oh, using hey. your sword. Let's see my genic. <laughs> and then proceeds to hand it back to you. What? Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Kenza and Basela. They'll lead you to a safe part of town. I've got to report this. What are you going to report it as? You escaped, clearly. Overwhelmed us. That's fine. They'll tell you more about what's happening. Just go. Follow them. Yeah. And you see we'll Kenza and Basela, yeah. they lead you down the alley. You start weaving to and fro, kind of taking these weird, odd twists and turns. <laughs> um, everyone roll a stealth check. From my balcony? <laughs> oh, are you going to just stay up there? How do I get down? <laughs> Can you misty I don't have any misty steps left. What? <laughs> that was okay. not really well thought out. Well, I guess it? I'll just Let's cut through the house. Step. Excuse me. <laughs> hold on, hold on. My this stealth is, too good. is I have fucking to find awful. Out. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> hold on. God. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was not really Luckily, the kids the forgot wizard. to lock the door behind you and you're <laughs> able to go into the house, go down the stairs and mark their way out. Momo is just kind of standing there, bleeding out there a little bit, just looking at you like, that way. <laughs> and Thank now you. I will take a group. <laughs> I rolled, didn't roll very well. I only rolled a nine stealth. Same. Nine as well. Well... All right. Wow. Oh, man. We're rushing. We are, we are rushing. rushing. 
Well, let's see here. Uh, nat 20 for 24? Uh, that saves it. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> the flies obscure us. The flies. It must be. In the, in the stinky yeah. alley. You guys with the are going down the flies. alley. You <laughs> knock over some stuff. And these uh, uh, two guards proceed to walk down the alley. And then all of a sudden, this heavy curtain of flies descends upon the whole group. And you just see the soldiers like, oh, oh, oh. And they turn around to hell with that and walk out of the alley and just leave. I mean, I make sure I put my cloak up over my head. So, yeah, Yeah, because if you're within melee range of me, uh, you automatically take five poison damage every turn. (laughs) Oh gosh, we should have been rolling damage. Yeah, so you killed those kids, children. huh? Yeah, they're uh, dead. Oh, oh shit. shit! I mean, maybe that's how I got through the house so quickly. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that Cthulhu-esque story. Whoops! <laughs> As their poison shriveled bodies are just curled up on the balcony. <laughs> oh, I missed You're them while awful, I was taking up the chalk. <laughs> wow, what a dick! Um, no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean it didn't happen, you know, like what they say, a bear shits in the woods. It's canon. I was there to see. Let's it. see. You <laughs> chilled the Geralda family. Good job. Oh my god. Now we really should go to jail. <laughs> or he right. should. Uh they lead you down towards the south side of town and lead you down into a cellar. Well, that was uh, fun and interesting, wasn't it? Not sure I call it that. I'm going to sit down and you know, I'm going to start a short rest at the same time, but I'll also say, tell us what has happened since we've been gone. Uh, and they proceed to fill you in. Um, between the two of them, uh, they tell you that you have been declared traitors to the uh, Council of Arul Katan, uh, murderers, having killed both Yogash Ghoul citizens of Farzine now. Well, that's uh, bullshit. Having Strictly self defense. Killed the Scaries. That's uh, really bullshit because we found them. And helping the escape of the crew. Of the Cruz. Hazel's Folly. Crew's mm. dead. Most of them. They're framing us. They're framing Why? Us. Here's a question. Why? Our move? I have no fucking idea. Uh, oh, Captain Lothar seems to think that this ghoul business runs a lot deeper Ugh. than... <laughs> than what he thought it was even possible. We've been sneaking out townspeople uh, using the lifeboat on the folly uh, and taking them out of town. Captain Lothar has set up camp uh, to the north of the city, which would be the opposite of the end that you guys uh, crash landed on the city. Um. And so far, that's where all the refugees are being taken care of right now. Has there been word from the mayor or Commander Corwell at all since the announcement? Word in what way? They said anything about people disappearing anymore. Have they Oh yes, said they martial law or anything? Do you what about the guards? Anja? Uh, no, no, if you want to have, answer his question first. Yes, martial law has gone on the town and anyone who ends up missing uh, was murdered by yours truly. Fuck. Yes, we've I... been just trying to help people get out of the town who need help. It seems most of the people of Farzine realize that something is amiss 
although there's quite a few people who are, are taking advantage of the situation. Several merchants from Rue Catan. And on occasion, they've been finding reasons to execute people. No shit. They'd execute us. Whose order? Obviously, they need food for the larder. <laughs> Commander Corwell That's... and Magistrate Alwiggy. Your brother? He seems to have bought into this hook, line, and sinker. How close are you two? Not. Uh -huh. Does anybody see Jeremiah? Uh, no. Once orders came down that you were to be arrested upon sight, they they went through uh, your office, your building. Uh, Jeremiah was uh, escorted out. Uh, in fact, it was declared that he was one of your victims. Is he alive or dead? No, no, we have to keep a low profile. Do you want to know you what... don't want to get caught by a ghoul in an alley alone. Feels like the ghouls are taking over. That is clear. Do you want to know what we found? I assume it's just imagine more of the same. They've already found what they, they... We've already seen what they found. That cart that they were hauling, those are victims from below. Sure. We found a lot of victims. Although, I don't know if I'm, they had the same victims because we kind of buried them in the, the yeah. aftermath. Yeah, were the, were the victims all dried up or not? Because the, all the victims you saw down there were dried up. There's been a mix of fresh corpses and dried up corpses. Did any seem alive? Like Once the you, ghouls got a hold of them? No. Some of them have been mummified, so to speak, or petrified. Down below, there was a cult in a temple <coughs> to Fetnathoa. I don't know if you've, do you know this creature? <coughs> um, Kenza seems clueless. Uh, first mate Pasele, uh lava demon from Moo, right? Yeah, I think. Lava demon? Oh, yeah. Lived volcano. in a volcano. Yeah. I heard tales about it, but mostly from a back show. Wacky, crazy job saying that Moo actually exists. Disturbing part about this is they had human cultists with them. It wasn't the ghouls that we encountered in the actual new temple as it was. So it is not just the ghouls that are staging this. Clearly, there's more of a contingent of treacherous humans that are aligning themselves with these filthy creatures. Are the two of Maybe them in hopes of becoming them. ghouls themselves. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, uh, the two sailors look at each other. Captain Kenza turns to him. That might explain why the priests of light have been mostly gathered up and exterminated. That would make sense. It would be the best line of setting out these creatures, at least, or snuffing out any contamination. What Speaking of the priestess of light, and we've been telling you we've been smuggling people out of the city, but we think they're catching on to us. And we still have several more people to get out. So is that the next thing? You need, need a distraction to? then. We need a distraction, yeah. <clears throat> I would be happy to cause a distraction. If it involves schools, sure, I am too. 
when are you planning on taking them out? Out in the middle of the night. So, a couple hours from now. Either way, whatever you need to do needs to be big. And it needs to be something useful because they're getting ready to send patrols out to try and find the refugees out in the wild. And if they figure out which direction they've gone, and honestly, it's not going to be hard. Most of the people climbed over the walls early on and left a load of tracks. If you want big, you want distracting. I can only think of one thing offhand. Arson. What thing? Arson. Arson. Oh, you set a building on fire. His strategic buildings, the stockades, the mayor's office, the mausoleum entrance, things like that. Might work. That's kind of spread out over the place, though. It'll cause more confusion and distraction. It'll give you more opportunity. There'll be less concentrated creatures. If it's just one, they won't have to split their forces as much. I'm sorry, did we say we have a cannon in our inventory somewhere? You do not actually have a cannon in your inventory. <laughs> That's wishful okay. thinking on Riley's part. <laughs> that being said... That wasn't um, my idea. Why do you think that was my idea? That was Merrick. Honestly, we don't, we don't need to do that. We just need probably alcohol. You do know that there matches is or uh, a munitions warehouse. Um, right by the stockade, caddy corner from it, right? We could just blow Not that. Too far off from the stockade, but yeah, you could blow that and take care of the, a lot of the uh, armaments that the city has as well. The like local idea. guards, the non dual local guards. The Toa. How many of yes. them are? How many of them are loyal to the treacherous mayor and the ghouls? How many are loyal to us? As far as we can tell, most of them remain loyal to us. I think all of them, to be honest with you. A lot of them had to flee the city along with Captain Lothar. Uh, Momoa say behind. She's always been difficult to read and was able to remain behind and pass information along to us about when it was good times to get people out of the city. Uh, other than that, I'm not quite sure who else. And I imagine most of the Farzanites would let us go unhindered, but these soldiers and the ghouls, they follow the magistrate and the commander. If we encounter any of them, I expect to meet the sharp end of a sword or a loud bang of a bullet. The wall appeared complete, but it's not quite complete, is it? One more time there. The wall, it, it appeared complete, but it's not yet, is it? Uh, no, on the uh, south side, uh, they're just finishing up the construction of that wall. It's still a bit of a climb, but it's easier than anywhere else. You don't have to worry about the ditch quite as much on that side. Other than that, the, the volcano side and the north entrance are the only gates through, or if you go out through the water. Another target would be the north gate then. This would also give an opportunity to pose in a route of attack, but if the south is incomplete, to retake the city afterwards. You could always use that as an actual entry point as well. Because we are not going to be surviving out in the wild for that long. We would need a place, we need to be able to take back this place, but the ghouls will have it and have it fortified. Most likely. As I said, Captain Lothar is in charge of the refugee camp, and I don't think he's going to let any of this stand for long. Where has Commander uh, Orwell been staying? 
Yeah, he's been staying at the mayor's house. What happens if we just take out the leadership? Fools have already a power. We don't know who else can hold it. Honestly, the only leadership that we see around is Upton. I think that's his name, right? Yep. Uh, and Commander Corwell riding his horse up and down the streets. Uh, Magistrate Alwiggy spends his time in the city hall behind closed doors, as far as we can tell. No one's seen him since he made his speech. As for the ghouls, they're like rats just infesting the place. They're everywhere. And honestly, I can't tell some of them apart from another. Seems to me we're up for a fight, a big fight, to take this place back. We should probably hit the munitions building first, then see what we can salvage, scavenge, and then burn the rest down. I see, I like that. Isn't the priority the, the distraction in a couple hours? That's, that would also that be the munitions. The yes, that would be the missions as well. Yeah, that that's I was just confirming that because it's yeah, like we're talking about a bunch of other things that were nope. less relevant. No, uh, if we're gonna no, it, it, it's relevant, but I mean it's not gonna happen tonight either. We need to do this first. Yeah, that that's I'm just thinking of the future. What I'm saying I think splitting their attention would be useful. Rather than having concentrated, unless we want to trap them and set, hmm. if we set well, the barracks ablaze and then attract some of them and then set the munitions off, that might take care of a large chunk of ghouls. Cool. I mean, I'm fine with whatever plan, but do we have enough time to uh, have a short rest? You are getting a short rest. Okay. While well, while we do this, all right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Um... Kenza says that with you breaking out and being on loose in the city and us being on loose in the city as well, this is going to be our last smuggling trip out of the city. And I would suggest when you take the distraction, you use that to leave too and get to the refugee camp. Otherwise... They will tear down every building. And they have the numbers to do it. But in the meantime, rest, eat some food. And it is some terrible looking food. But she also pulls out a wine skin or a wine cask. uh, And you recognize it uh, as uh, one of uh, Saknaraj's uh, casks and yeah you guys rest you plan you gain level 6 oh and we will come back to you in two weeks mm-hmm. to find out what buildings you're burning down Just burn down the town Burn down the entire <coughs> town. <coughs> Guys, that Seven. has been Cred uh, uh, here on Murder Hobo Inc. Um, we're ending a little bit early tonight. One, to help out our wonderful DM, Frank, who has to wake up early tomorrow morning. And I'm cold and I can see my breath and I don't like this thing. Oh. It's really bad. So, uh, everybody, wave at the camera. Podbean, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, buy cool merchandise. We will uh, see you guys calamity on Saturday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks to the sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice. <laughs>